Japan's military modernization efforts have taken a significant step forward with a proposal to transform the Type 89 infantry fighting vehicle, officially designated as the 89FV, into an unmanned precision attack vehicle equipped with loitering munitions. Unveiled by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries at DSEI Japan 2025, this concept reflects Japan's strategic pivot toward integrating advanced unmanned systems into its defense architecture, driven by evolving regional security challenges and the need to repurpose aging platforms. The Type 89, a cornerstone of the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force since its introduction in 1989, was originally designed to support mechanized infantry operations alongside the Type 90 main battle tank. With only 120 units produced and approximately 58 in service by 1999, the vehicle's high cost and limited procurement have prompted innovative approaches to extend its operational relevance. The Type 89 IFV, developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries with production support from Komatsu Limited, was Japan's first tracked vehicle tailored for mechanized infantry, entering service after a development process that began in 1980. With a combat weight of 26.5 tons, a length of 6.8 meters, and a Mitsubishi 6SY31WA 600 horsepower diesel engine, the vehicle achieves a maximum speed of 70 km per hour and an operational range of 400 km. Its welded steel hull, augmented by steel and ceramic composite armor, provides robust protection, though it lacks amphibious capability due to Japan's reliance on bridge networks and engineering support for river crossings. The vehicle's armament includes a 35mm Orlikon KDE cannon, licensed produced by Japan Steel Works, with a firing rate of 200 rounds per minute, and dual-fed magazines for high-explosive incendiary and armor-piercing discarding sabot rounds, capable of penetrating 80 to 90 millimeters of armor at 1,000 meters. Secondary armaments consist of a Type 74 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, two Type 79 GUMAT anti-tank guided missile launchers, and four smoke grenade launchers. The crew of three, driver, commander, and gunner, operates alongside a troop compartment for seven infantrymen, equipped with vision blocks, gun ports, and rear access doors. The vehicle's design, optimized for combined arms operations, has also proven versatile in disaster relief, such as during the 2014 Mount Ontak eruption, where its armor protected against debris. Mitsubishi's modernization concept, as reported by Jun Supreme on May 21, 2025, reimagines the Type 89 as an unmanned ground vehicle by replacing the troop compartment with eight launch tubes for Switchblade 600 loitering munitions and fitting an unmanned turret with a 30mm automatic cannon. This transformation eliminates the vehicle's personnel transport role, repurposing it for long-range precision strikes and high-risk missions, particularly in nuclear, biological, or chemical environments, a concern rooted in threats from North Korea since the 1980s. The Switchblade 600, produced by Aerovironment, is a 15 kg loitering munition with a range of 60 to 90 km, a loiter time of over 40 minutes, and speeds of 113 km per hour in loiter mode and 185 km per hour in attack mode. Its anti-armor warhead, derived from Javelin missile technology, and two-axis EO-IR sensor suite enable precise targeting of non-line-of-sight threats. The system's tablet-based fire control unit supports tap-to-target guidance, mission planning, and a wave-off function for mission abort or redirection, making it ideal for dynamic battlefields. Its operational use by U.S. forces and Ukraine since 2022 underscores its effectiveness against armored targets, offering Japan a proven platform for integration. The conversion aligns with Japan's strategic need to enhance its rapid reaction capabilities amid regional tensions, particularly with China and North Korea. The Type 89's original design, while advanced for its time, faces obsolescence due to its high maintenance costs and limited numbers. By converting it into a UGV, Japan can leverage existing chassis. Already deployed with units like the 11th Infantry Regiment's 1st, 3rd, and 5th Companies, to create a cost-effective, 
high impact platform. The unmanned configuration reduces human exposure to threats, a critical consideration for operations in contested environments like the Senkaku Islands or near North Korean missile ranges. The integration of loitering munitions, which can loiter, identify, and strike targets with minimal collateral damage, enhances the JGSDF's ability to engage armored vehicles, fortifications, or low-flying threats at extended ranges. The 30mm cannon, a slight downgrade from the original 35mm, maintains significant firepower while accommodating the weight and space requirements of the launch tubes and advanced electronics. However, the proposal faces technical and strategic challenges. Retrofitting the Type 89's 1980s-era chassis with modern unmanned systems requires significant upgrades to its electronics, communication systems, and fire control architecture to ensure compatibility with the Switchblade 600's FCU and remote operation protocols. The vehicle's torsion bar suspension and powertrain while robust, may need enhancements to support the additional weight and power demands of the new systems. Japan's reliance on foreign vendors, such as Aerovironment for the Switchblade 600, raises questions about domestic production capacity and supply chain security, especially given Japan's preference for indigenous defense solutions. Public and ethical concerns about autonomous weapons could also complicate adoption as the JGSDF would need to clarify the extent of human-in-the-loop control. Furthermore, the concept's early-stage status, as showcased at DSEI Japan 2025, suggests that procurement and deployment timelines remain uncertain, with potential delays due to testing and budgetary constraints. Strategically, the Type 89's conversion complements Japan's broader defense modernization, including the development of the Type 24 Infantry Combat Vehicle and Maneuver Mortar Combat Vehicle. These wheeled platforms, designed for mobility and rapid deployment, indicate a shift away from tracked vehicles like the Type 89 for conventional infantry roles. By repurposing the Type 89 as a UGV, Japan maximizes the utility of its existing fleet while addressing gaps in precision strike and unmanned capabilities. The initiative also reflects global trends, as seen in conflicts like Ukraine, where loitering munitions have proven effective against armored and fortified targets. For Japan, this capability could deter aggression in contested maritime and island regions, where standoff engagement is critical. The Type 89's prior use in disaster relief suggests that the unmanned variant could also support non-combat roles, such as reconnaissance in hazardous environments. In conclusion, the proposed conversion of the Type 89 IFV into an unmanned precision attack vehicle represents a forward-thinking approach to modernizing Japan's defense capabilities. By integrating Switchblade 600 loitering munitions and a 30mm unmanned turret, the JGSDF can transform an aging platform into a versatile asset for high-risk missions. While technical, logistical, and ethical challenges remain, the concept aligns with Japan's strategic imperatives and global trends in unmanned warfare. As the JGSDF continues to develop its unmanned systems, the Type 89's transformation could serve as a model for repurposing legacy platforms, ensuring Japan's military remains agile and effective in an increasingly complex security environment.